I remember when uh, you guys first contacted me, uh, sending the mini crane and the iPhone to uh, slider and wanted me to test it out. Uh, I thought, do I need those kind of equipment to, to make films? Because I've always been shooting handheld uh, in the early days. And I thought that that's efficient, you can uh, shoot quite fast and be creative on set. And uh, you sent me the equipment to test it out. I then realized that there's a reason why you have a slider, there's a reason why you have a crane. You, you can get those professional looking and creative shots that you won't be able to get handheld. So I made a video about this uh, mini crane uh, and realized during that shooting that the crane is much more um, easier to assemble, to move around than I thought. I thought that I would never use that crane because it would probably take too much time to assemble it. But uh, it was really easy to use and uh, uh, the, it's opened up a whole new world of creative shots. I'm trying to use it as much as I can now. Uh, sometimes of course I need to be when I'm shooting some uh, promo videos or something that I like that, I need to be really efficient. I only shoot handheld. When I have time, I, I, uh, I use the crane and also the slider, uh, of course, and the uh, Wildcat Steadicam. The good thing about your equipment, uh, I realized, was that it's so easy to assemble, easy to move around uh, with it. Um, you can be efficient on set, even though you're using a crane, uh, even though you're using a slider. And that's really important for me because if you are efficient on set, you can, on set, you, 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 you can see uh, other uh, solutions to film your scene than what you thought uh, beforehand. Normally you plan a scene, you know, you have a storyboard and stuff like that. But sometimes you see on the set that, oh, there's so, so much better lighting over there if you're using natural light. Or maybe, oh, we should, instead of shooting here, maybe we should shoot over there. So, but with the, with the shock slider and the crane, it's easy to move around so we can, uh, be a bit intuitive on set and, uh, and uh, do things on the go. And that's how I like to work and that's how I think we'll create more creative uh, shots. And uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people know me from YouTube, uh, the Andex channel, with uh, quite a lot of subscribers now, 228,000 or something. So it's going really well on YouTube. My main income is making uh, uh, films in the film industry in Norway. That's how I get the income because the, Google, the ads on uh, YouTube doesn't generate that much amount of money. So I needed to work in the film industry, so I do commercials, I do documentaries, and also I made a feature film. Uh, but I, I'm starting to realize that what enriches my life, what gives me the most, is ha making YouTube videos and getting the feedback from all the followers. Because people have told me that uh, our videos inspire them to start making films, and some, even, some people have even been depressed, but by watching the videos and start making films, they they felt much better. That means more to me than just making films for a company or something like that. So uh, I want to continue the channel. I want to, even though it's not that much of income, I'm trying to, I made, just made a Patreon page, hoping to get some uh, support from uh, the most loyal uh, subscribers. <laughs> also start to upload more vlogs, because I'm, as mentioned, I work in the film industry, so I can make vlogs from making those kind of films. The Patreon page is going okay. Uh, I. I, we also did this uh, the camera hack crowdfunding campaign, and uh, it's it's uh, you have to really push the the, the campaign or the push the promote the the Patreon page as much as you can because people not everyone are, are seeing uh, the uh, the news about it. So I'm just going to push. Uh, I think uh, in a couple of months now I'm just going to push and uh, tell about the Patreon page, and hopefully we'll get uh, our goal of reaching 300 patrons. That's like when we reach 300 patrons, we know that enough people want to support uh, the videos. I think then we get enough budget to also dedicate more of our time making YouTube videos. Because that's what we want to do, dedicate more time on YouTube. So if you want to support the Annex channel and see more movie making uh, videos, support us by going to uh, patreon.com slash And uh, as a thank you for becoming a Patreon, you will get access to a lot of cool stuff like vlogs and uh, quick tips and... Uh, Maybe you also can see my, um, my private side, like, uh, okay, this sounds a bit... <laughs> but uh, see more of how I uh, work in the film industry in Norway and, uh, yeah, and, and, and make a community, make a film community together with our followers. That's, that's our goal, so I hope you, hope you will join.